Well, hello everybody and welcome to our library slash music room. This is actually one of my favorite rooms in our home and I don't think I've ever really shown it on the channel. When we moved in, here's what happened. I didn't like this color at all. I now have really come to love this color. It's kind of a terracotta. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but it's very warm. And especially in the winter time, it's very cozy in here. I do, however, uh, want to lighten up the shelves just a tad. I'm not gonna get new furniture in here because number one, there's no budget for that right now. And number two, I really do like the furniture that's in here. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this time with me. We're just gonna cozy up and have some tea and go through some books and hopefully the end result will be something that we'll all be really excited about. I mean, I'll be excited. You might be excited too. <laughs> okay, so I'm filming this at night, so the light is very different than it will be for the rest of the video, but I'm anxious to get started actually. Now, the one thing I need to tell you about these bookshelves is they do actually have to hold books. <laughs> I was just online, like looking for some inspiration, and I'm kind of amazed how many people don't keep books on their bookshelves. Um, I've got these box or these books in baskets because Walter used to pull them out and chew them. He's past that stage now, and it's dusty and it's gotten oh so cluttered. Now the bookshelves themselves, I actually really love. We bought these at Haberty's. They have this kind of wrought iron behind. They're super sturdy, super well-made, and I kind of love them. So those are not going to be altered in any way. I'm not painting them or anything like that. However, I do want to bring some more lighter colors in. I definitely want to bring some greenery in, and I definitely want to get rid of some of the junk because we do not need to have, not that, not that my son's Lego cities are junk. They are for sure not, but we may be able to find a different place and we for sure maybe can find a different place for our rocket. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. state of affairs. Um, I have moved all of the books onto either the floor or here on top of the piano. Um, these are the ashes from our sweet dog Gretchen, so those need to go in a place of honor. I have dusted everything and now I have to figure out how do I want to categorize things. Now, the photo albums I have kept on these shelves, but I'm not sure that's the best place for them. Uh, so I have to think about that. And it's also funny because going through these books, I feel like it's such a representation of, you know, my entire life. You've got what Paul really said about women mixed in with Anne of Green Gables, mixed in with Harry Potter, mixed in with, you know, lots of books from when I was a pastor. Although a lot of those I left with my former church because their dollars had paid for all of them. Um, but also history books. Scott was a history major. We've got aviation books. We've got fiction. We've got, <laughs> I mean, you name it. This is a great book, by the way, X Saves the World by Jeff Gordon Yeager. I don't know how to say his name. Um, books from college. Like really all of these books are books that I have, that I want to keep. Cause like I said, we did do a big purge of books. Some of them I stole from my mom, like this one, which is so funny to go through. Heloise's Work and Money Savers. Oh my gosh, I just adore this book. It's just like, it's quaint and there's actually some useful stuff in there and it's also really funny. So anyway, um, books from my mother-in-law, but none of them are really ones I want to get rid of because I already did a big book purge before we moved. I also had up there tons of pictures. Now, I'm thinking of doing a photo wall. I've never done one of those. Instead of displaying them in here, 
There's a really great wedding picture of my parents. There's a picture of Scott's mom. The frames don't all coordinate. So that may be, you know, the whole picture thing may be a project for a different day. And then we've also got um, decorative items. And I just think those could probably maybe not really be on here as much because I would like to use them, like I said, as an actual working library. So yeah, now I'm going to start sorting through books and I'll see you back here in a minute. So yeah, I'm, it's, there's just a lot of books <laughs> and it's, I probably should not overthink. I will say this, and I don't mean this to sound snarky, but if you, if I walk into your house and your books are done by color, I kind of have to think you're not a big reader and maybe your books are more decorative. And I, there is a particular organizing, couple of organizing gurus. I'm not even going to name them because that's just not fair because everybody does what they do for a reason. But the whole putting your books color coded is weird to me because how do I remember like if I'm look if I want a quote from a book by Phyllis Tickle or a book by, you know, I don't know, um, Ernest Hemingway, or if I'm looking for, you know, Stephen King on writing or something, I don't remember what color that book is, but if I put it with all of my writing books, like I have quite a few books that are just about writing because I've been a writer in the past. My son is a writer, so we have a lot of those. Or like if I'm looking for a reference book, I don't care what color it is. I don't know. I, that sounds snarky and judgmental. That just isn't for me. I love that for you. I don't love that for me. So I'm pulling out all of these old pictures to decide what I want to put where. And I came across this one and I just took it out of the frame and took a quick digital picture of it because I don't have this in digital form. And what's funny is I remember this day and I thought this was the worst picture ever. It was one of those deals at the photographer studio where they would give you one for free. And we went and this was the only picture we got. This is all I have from that photo shoot. I remember being so ticked off because nobody was looking at the camera and nobody was doing what they were supposed to do. And I just felt like this was a horrible picture. People have their thumbs in their mouths and they're goofing off. And you guys know what? To this day, this is my favorite picture of my three boys. It is like one of my most treasured possessions. So just for the moms of littles out there, just capture those moments that you think you're gonna not wanna look back on, but you know what, you really are. Look at how cute they are, look at their little shoes. Oh my gosh, so much money spent on shoes. But you know, they have good feet, so worth it. <laughs> it is about, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes later, and I am confusing myself because <laughs> I'm trying to divide things out into categories and it's a little challenging. So the history category is kind of nailed because Scott has a lot of history books and that's okay. But then I get into like the spiritual books and then I started getting into, um, I wanted to do a whole section just with books of people that I personally know or books that I'm in. Like I actually did a forward for this book. Um, Sarah Bessie, you guys know, she just came out with a new prayer book that I love and I kind of know her. I mean, I know her on social media. Jenny Simmons is actually a friend. Uh, Mark Matlock is a friend. And so, yeah, um, Phyllis Tickle, I hung out what, with once at a conference. So uh, like, do you do a section just filled with books written by people that you know? I, I don't know, is that weird? Okay, it is hours and hours later. Not hours and hours. What time did we start this? 9.30? It's now one o'clock, I think, about. Is that what time it is? Yeah, well, 12.45. Okay, so <laughs> first of all, going through books is kind of an emotional history of your life, especially because, as I said when I started, I know that all of these books I have kept for a reason. They're all important to me. 
but then trying to categorize them and you know, going through each one and, and realizing, you know, where was I in my life when I had that book and what was going on in the history of our family and in the history of the world. And it's like, I keep stopping and thinking about things and chatting with Scott about things. And it's just not the quickest organizational project in the entire world, but we are making a lot of progress. I've got history books. I've got spiritual books. Um, a lot of you may or may not know I was a pastor for 10 years. So I have quite a few of those. I've got um, juvenile literature, I've got like classic children's literature, books that my kids loved, and I, I still have not made a call on the photo albums. I think they're just going to have to go somewhere else. I just don't see how I can fit them in here. Um, but it is kind of making me happy having all of the books in one place. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do all the areas in my house that I pulled the books from where I was using them as decor, but I don't know. We'll figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> I am loving the LaForge Dewey Decimal System. Maybe the LaForge Decimal System? <laughs> Everything is divided out by category. I've got travel books all in one section, history books all in one section, books on aviation industry and flying in one section. My husband loved that all the history books are together. He actually came in and said, oh my gosh, I didn't remember I had that book and immediately pulled one off the shelf and started reading it. I've got all my spiritual and sort of self-encouragement books in one place. All of the fiction is on one shelf. I did end up keeping the photo albums in here and you know it is nice to kind of come in here and sit in that chair and thumb through a photo album so I'm not sorry I kept them there. And then the travel section is maybe my favorite uh, but I also love the juvenile literature section. I've got all of the Harry Potter books there, uh, some of the books my kids read when they were little and then I have business books and um, looks like some more writing books and things along those lines and then on the bottom shelf we have our reference shelf which is going to be really helpful I think for the whole family. You know this is one of those projects that you want to do because you do feel like it will improve your quality of life but you put it off because you know it's going to take a long time you know it's going to be very dusty I can tell you that it's a good thing I have this scarf on because this wearing all black was not the best idea. <laughs> for doing these bookcases. There was a ton of dust, a lot of stuff needed to be cleaned up, but it was so great to actually care for my books, to look at what I have, to realize why I decided to keep the books that I've kept. They all have very significant meaning to me and it's just good to have them all in one place, easy to reference for me, for my entire family. And I just feel really good about the space. It's very us and it feels very warm and welcoming when you first walk in the door to my house. So thank you so much for being here today. If you like home organization and I don't know, life improvement and health and fitness and parenting and all that kind of stuff, money advice. Uh, we talk about all kinds of stuff on this channel. I would love for you to stick around. So please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy. Bye-bye.